Hi fellas, today we are going to make it our Instat Pro. So before we start, we will be starting on a node of Jaiho, Jai India. So we, I will be making new project and I am choosing a space and my units are in meter and kilonewton. I am hitting next. It is saying that this file already exists so I don't care to overwrite it. I am going with add beam. First of all, I am having a grid of 10 by 10. So I am just creating node at instances of 2 meter like this with the width of 3 meters. Like this. So if I do not want to see the grid, I am just switching off. So, but I uh, so to see the node numbers and beam numbers, I will just go to label, and I will tick these two areas. So now all my node numbers and beam numbers are visible. But this is somewhat complex. So when you go to label, and there you will notice that. Uh, next to node numbers in bracket there is n and uh, next to beam numbers there is b so it is kind of shortcut to use that shortcut you just um, hold your shift plus b for beam number to activate or deactivate and shift plus n uh, to activate node numbers and deactivate node numbers so i'm just deactivating both of them so now there is a situation that i want to create nodes from this uh, create beam from this node to this node and this node to this node likewise so what i will do i will go to i, I will go to geometry and in geometry there is one option add beam and in there uh, add beam there is one sub option as add beam from point to point here you can see i will click on this and i will choose this point to this point to make it easy i will be uh, shift n for node numbers from node number 4 to 9 and from 4 3 to 10 and likewise 2 to 11 so this is not my complete tower so to create a tower i will be adding one more dimension in z direction so what i will be doing i will be doing control a to select all the tower and i will go to geometry and there is one option translational repeat it is kind of array if you talk about autocad so i am hitting this option it will be asking with some dialog box that in which direction you want to do it kindly keep in mind the direction is in global x y and z so i want to create in g direction so now the main thing how number uh, how many number of steps you want i want only one instance so i will be choosing one and what will be the define uh, what will be the distance between these two instances so i am putting six or anything you want to give six meter is there and now these three options are very important first of all we will be talking about link steps so i'm just hitting okay so what it is doing it is creating exact one copy like here and all these steps are being linked with some beams but you will be noticed that there the base is also linked but we do not need these two beams the beam number 16 and here you will see and 27th I do not need them so to do so for that I am controlling Z and again what I am doing I am going for geometry translational repeat and this time I am giving link steps plus open base so let's see what happens now I'm just hitting OK and it will be showing me 
that base is open so if you want to orient it properly there are some rotational tools like, like if you want to spin left then it will be like this or spin right it will be like this for rotation or rotate right or rotate left sorry if you want to put it uh, into isometric default view then hit this button and you can do the orientation rotation part with the help of keyboard direction arrows like what I'm doing right now with my keyboard so this is was a small tutorial how to create a tower using stat pro vati if you like this video kindly like and do subscribe for upcoming videos of entire course of stat pro please subscribe my channel this is jagbir singh saying bye bye take care jai ho jai india